Hey, dude, you ever think about maybe remaking some of our tutorials? Not really. Well, we don't have to do a request every week, right? Not do a request. <laughs> Guess there's no Hulk effect this week. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning good. Now guys, we've all made mistakes in the past and I'm a big boy and I'll fully admit when something isn't quite right or as good as it could be. One of those episodes that really sticks out for me personally after 22 episodes of the second season of The Flash is my Zoom voice effect. For the lack of a better word, it stinks. It was based on a promo that came out before the season began and Zoom's voice changed significantly between then and when we first heard him speak. So today, we'll be doing a film and remix and taking another crack at it. My God. I'll knock it off. In order to complete this effect, you'll need your best gravelly impression of Zoom like yours truly does right here. You can't stop the requests. And that's it. Oh, a copy of Audition helps. Now let's get to work. Okay gang, here we are back in Adobe Audition. I've got my bass recording all ready to go, so let's have a listen. You can't stop the requests. Not too shabby, but of course, it needs some work. I mean, that's why we're here, right? So our first step will be adding a touch of reverb. To do that, all we'll do is hit Control-A to highlight our track, head to Effects, Reverb, and look at that. It's right there, Reverb. From there, let's do some tweaking. We'll change that decay time to 800, the pre-delay time to 20, the perception to 50, the output level dry to 100%, and the output wet to 55%. Now let's have a listen. You can't stop the requests. As you can hear, we have a bit of reverb to add a bit more atmosphere to our track, and it sounds a bit better. So let's hit apply and head to the next step, and the next step being lowering the pitch. So let's head to effects, time and pitch, and select stretch and pitch. Now what we want to do here is make sure your menu is set to isotope radius instead of audition. I'll then check lock stretch and pitch shift up here. We'll then head down to pitch shift, and I'm going to bump mine down minus 3.5 semitones. Now you may need to lower this or make it a little bit higher depending on your voice. And then we'll check out a preview. You can't stop the requests. As you can hear, and you can see from our time code up here, it slowed down our audio file from its initial time to this time here. Now obviously we don't want to affect the time, so our next step will be speeding it back up. Let's firstly take note of the stretch percentage right here. Now mine reads 122 0.41%. So let's hit apply and keep moving on. And by moving on, we're going to apply the exact same effect again. So let's head up to effect, time and pitch, and right back to stretch and pitch. This time around, we'll uncheck to lock the stretch and pitch shift, and we'll set our semitones to zero, as this time we only want to speed up the clip. Now, remember that percentage? Well, it's time to use it. Now the basic idea is this. My stretch percentage was 122.41, right? and we want to bring that back to its original time. So what we have to do is take the 22.41 from our 122.41 and double it, which gives us a value of 44.82. Now stick with me here, we'll then minus that 44.82 from our initial 122.41 percentage, and that gives us a percentage of 77.59. So let's type that in and check out a preview. As you can see, it sped our voice back up to that initial time we had, and it gives it a bit of a wobble effect that isn't present if you just pitch the voice down. Now I know that sounded complicated, but it really isn't. All you're really doing is taking whatever number is after the one, doubling it, and then just minusing that from whatever number you have on screen. So for example, if your percentage is 130%, you're just doubling 30, which is 60, and then you're minusing that 60 from that 130, which gives you a percentage of 70%. So let's apply that and move on. Our next step is pretty easy. We wanna highlight our track, right click it and hit copy to new. 
So why are we doing this? Well, Zoom's voice appears to be doubled, with one track being slowed down and one at normal speed. So this track will become our normal speed track. So let's speed it up. We'll head to Effect, Time and Pitch, and one last time, select Stretch and Pitch. This time, all we need to do is bump those semitones in the opposite direction than we did the first time. So instead of minus 3.5, I'll make mine say 3, as I still want it to be a little lower than my original recording. If we check out our preview, you can't stop the requests. You can hear it's back to our normal range, but it has all the effects we created for that lower pitched voice embedded in. Cool, eh? Our last step is to combine those two tracks together. Now you can just save these both out and then do it in the editor of your choice, but this is an Adobe Audition tutorial, so let's do it in here. One thing you need to make sure of before we begin is to head to Preferences right here, select Multi-Track Clips, and make sure that Use Embedded Timecode in Multi-Track is turned off. Otherwise, you're gonna have a bad time. Right, now that we have that done, let's right-click our newly sped up track and select Insert into Multi-Track Session. Name it whatever you want and hit OK. Once that's opened up, all we have to do is drop our slowed down track below it and check out a preview. You can't stop the requests. Nice. To export this as a single mix down track, all we have to do is head to multi-track, mix down session to new file, select the entire session and bam, there it is for you. Ready to save and use as you wish. And guys, I think we can all agree this one sounds a hell of a lot better than our last Zoom voice. You can't stop the requests. And that is our first remix done. Out of all those steps, your voice goes from this. You can't stop the requests. As to this. You can't stop the requests. So that's our first film on and remix episode, gang. As you saw, I also threw in my demon ice effect and I did a new Zoom Lightning that will hit very soon. And yes, I know I still have a buttload more requests to tackle, but this one was bugging me and I just had to do it. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe right there. Hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff, and keep working on those short films. And until Gideon hits next week, keep learning.